Well, hello everybody. This is Jim Hovland, your Edina Mayor. And it is Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Those first five days in January 2022 went by very quickly. This is your Mayor's Minute. So, folks, you know, uh, usually I do these uh, presentations without a face mask on. We've got good social distancing here, but we're going to be talking about masking today, and we thought it would be good if I left my mask on for this presentation so you can see one type of mask that's, uh, that's approved for use by the CDC. And we're going to talk about the different variations on theme as we go along here. So as we all know, as the Delta and Omicron variants of COVID-19 continue to spread, the Center for Disease Control has updated guidance on masks. Everyone two years or older, that's two years or older, who is not fully vaccinated should be wearing a mask in indoor public spaces. We can't emphasize that enough. In areas with high numbers of COVID-19, like we're experiencing in Edina, consider wearing a mask in crowded outdoor settings as well and for activities with close contact with others who are not fully vaccinated. So what kind of mask do you want to choose? Choose masks that have two or more layers of washable, breathable fabric completely covering your nose and mouth. Masks that fit snugly against the sides of your face and don't have gaps. And masks that have a nose wire to prevent air from leaking out the top. Do not wear masks that are made of fabric that makes it hard to breathe, like vinyl, that have exhalation valves or vents that allow virus particles to escape. You think those valves are there to prevent things from coming in, but they could allow things to escape too. Or uh, masks that are labeled surgical N95 respirators. Those aren't for us in the general public. Those should be prioritized for healthcare workers, and we're still concerned about them having adequate equipment. If you wear a gaiter, and I see a few of them around, not as many as I used to, but make sure it has two layers or you fold it to create two layers. Face shields are not recommended. I still see a few people wearing face shields. We just don't know the efficacy of those face shields. Certain types of facial hair, like beards, can really make mask fitting difficult. To improve the fit, those with beards should use a mask fitter or brace or wear a disposable mask under a cloth mask with multiple layers of fabric. The second mask should push the edges of the inner mask against the face and beard. Many of us are tired of wearing these masks, but it's important for our safety, our collective safety. We're going to get through this together. This is Jim Hovland. That's your Mayor's Minute. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Let's get this COVID behind us and have a prosperous 2022. We'll see you soon.